Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how you can use a routing to uh, more consistently super glide in Apex Legends. So basically open up Utility, go down to Advanced Keys, click on Dynamic Keystroke, and then assign it to whatever key you want it to be. So this is the key you'll press to, um, to do your super glide. Uh, hit Continue, then scroll down, Bindings, just for the first binding, put whatever you use uh, for Jump. And then the second binding, put whatever you use for Crouch. And then you can leave the top how it is. Uh, mine's at 0 0.1 millimeters because that's what my actuation point is on all my keys. You could change this if you want, but I'm going to leave it default. Now down next to spacebar, click this, click and hold the second plus here, and then drag it to where the other bar is, ends where the other bar is. And then you want to change right here, 3.6 millimeters. Um, here's maybe different by default. This is what mine is. Uh, you can change this around so. The, uh, the more frames you get, the lower you want this to be. The less frames you get, the higher you want this to be. Uh, I found 0 0.5 works if you're getting like 130 frames per second. And it's basically just the ratio between these two. So there's a 0 0.4 millimeter difference between when jump will be um, registered when you press the key and when crouch will be registered. Uh, just hit done then on the upper right, save to keyboard. And you can come to this website here that I'll have linked down in the description. Uh, Apex Super Glide Trainer, and then just input whatever you have as your jump key bind into here just by clicking, pressing the key, clicking, pressing the key, input however many frames per second you get, and then press start, and then whatever you have as the dynamic keystroke uh, button we set up in Utility, uh, you just press that, and it's percentage is pretty high to hit the Super Glide. Um, you may be able to get it even higher just by messing around with the actuation point within Utility. If you go to dynam dynamic keystroke and changing the uh, where this is uh, the actuation is on, but I found 0 0.5 for 130 frames works pretty well. Uh, let's see, you got 240 frames. What you could do is type 240 in here, um, and then you'd want to you'd want to change it in Utility, but I'm going to leave it on 0 0.5 for now, so you'll see what what would happen. Like it's uh, telling you to crouch sooner on a lot of these. So basically if it's telling you to crouch sooner, what you're going to do, go to dynamic keystroke, 0 0.5. In order to crouch sooner you want to make this uh, like a lower actuation point, more sensitive. Save it to keyboard, press start, and now you can see it's a much higher percentage. It's still telling us to crouch a little sooner, so if we want, no, wrong thing, did not mean to pull up OBS. Um, if you still want to crouch sooner a little bit, we could try 0 0.2, which I think would be the highest we could go. I don't know if it allows you to have it actuate on the exact same actuation point or not. You can try that. Uh, so I think 0 0.3, yeah. So now it's telling us to crouch later, so I think if you're getting 240 frames per second, 0 0.3 would probably work the best. But basically, just input whatever value you're getting in Apex Legends, and then just mess around with the actuation points here in Utility until you get um, a pretty good percentage on on the Apex Glider to Apex um, Legends Super Glide Trainer. Um, so yeah, that's basically the video. Uh, hopefully, this helps somebody out, and that's about it.